Hey, this is Mark with Merchant on the Mark. I really appreciate you taking the time to check out this video. Uh, in this video, you're going to learn exactly how I go about doing manual online sourcing for reselling. So basically, finding products on one site, selling it on another site for additional profit. So I'm going to give you the exact Google Sheet that I use uh, and give to my VAs to actually get that information and go through everything right now. Okay, on this spreadsheet, you can see it's very simple. This is a Google Sheet that I share with uh, one of my VAs, and basically I'll send them a list of products. So it might be 100 products. It may be, you know, 10 products. And they have gone through uh, training that I've given them to show them exactly how to analyze um, this information. So basically what I have them do is get the uh, product name, the URL of the, the source. Uh, so this particular one happens to be on Best Buy. Uh, the Best Buy price after all, you know, discounts and um, you know coupons, that kind of thing. Uh, the Amazon URL, uh, the ASIN, um, the BSR on Amazon, which is basically the best seller rank. And if you're not familiar with that, uh, a lower number is better. The uh, BSR of one means that it's the number one best selling product in that particular category. So if it's one in toys, it's the number one seller in the toys category. Uh, and so forth. So the higher the number, the less it sells. Um, but it's just a frame of reference for um, letting you know how often a particular item sells so you can make better buying decisions. So uh, ones with NA means they do not have a rank. And so those are ones that aren't selling very often or ever. Uh, and so those are ones that you'll want to skip. And anything over, basically over 200,000, you know, for the most part, I don't look at personally. You may. Uh, but that's up to you and in, in your you know your business decisions. And then this is the Amazon price uh, of the lowest priced item. So I have my VA uh, omit products where Amazon is the seller because I don't want to compete with Amazon because they can price it down to negative profitability and still be okay with that. And they also go very deep. Some things they go. You know, some products that might sell 10 units a month or 15 units a month, they might have over a thousand units in their warehouses. And so it's going to take them a long time to ever sell out of that. So I try to um, go around those products and only look for ones where I'm competing against other third party sellers um, on the platform. And so uh, this is the lowest price that someone's selling for currently. And so uh, you would think you could just do a comparison, $28.99 minus $6.99 to uh, you know, figure out what your profit is. And, and that's not the case. Uh, but what you want to do, there's actually a spreadsheet that I have uh, in another video I'll link to in this video um, or in the description uh, that will show you exactly how to figure out what your actual profitability will be. Uh, in this one, we just want to do a quick um, high level um, you know, calculation to see if it's even worth um, pursuing. So. For example, if I say that my minimum profit is $10 per item or 30% in profit margin or percentage, then uh, this will tell me very quickly uh, which ones fit that criteria. So you can see this one does. It's over 30% and it's over $10. And then this one is also, it's over $10, over 30%. Uh, what I want to look at next is the BSR. So this one has a decent rank. It's not outstanding. Uh, but that's something I would definitely look at. This one has an uh, NA or no ranking. So immediately that one cuts that one out. I wouldn't even have to look any further. Uh, what you're looking for is um, low cost uh, help to go through the grunt work of actually analyzing the data and, and in, inserting it into a spreadsheet where it's easy to analyze. Uh, your time is very important. You can do this obviously if you want to, if you have the time or don't have the money. Um, but for the cost of VAs nowadays, there's really no reason not to uh, hire one of them to help you. Uh, so, for example, on this one, uh, after they've gone through, and let's just say that they analyzed 200 products, uh, I found one that's usable. The rest of these, uh, some of these I might go through and, and um, you know, look a little further to see if they're just down on their price right now because Amazon is coming to stock and they go out of stock very often. So that might be something I look at more closely um, or if I see something that looks strange in the numbers I might research that a little bit further but um, this is all you need basically find a website that sells products uh, on clearance or on sales uh, is having a sale or you have a coupon send those links to a VA 
or you do it yourself, find the product on the source, document the URL and the price. Find that product on Amazon, make sure the picture, pictures match up, get this information, and then this little calculation is basically just the Amazon price times 0.72 because I would be sen selling it uh, through Amazon FBA, sending it in to them. If you were fulfilling it yourself, I would say times 0.85 because they take about a 15% um, fee off of the top of uh, you know whatever you sell it for. And then minus $1 uh, for uh, you know just miscellaneous processing and shipping minus C2, which is this field right here, which is buy, buy cost. So your profit dollar, and then you just do profit dollar divided by uh, your buy price, and that will give you your percentage. So very simple, uh, great spreadsheet to use. Google Sheets is, is something that you can share with your VA very easily, and multiple people be working on it at the same time. So uh, it's a great option for you and a great way to find profitable products that you can then use. Uh, to fill your store on uh, Amazon, Shopify, Walmart, wherever it might be. So um, with that, I hope that was very helpful to you. Uh, be sure to take these ideas and run with them. Find great products, sell them online, make some money, uh, build a life uh, and a business that you want to for you, your particular needs and your family. Okay. So with that, this is Mark with uh, Merchant on the Mark. Check the description for any links I've noted. Uh, be sure and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.